much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, I am back today with part three of It's Rain and Bread, and I just really, really want you guys to catch this. This is really, um, this has really been a good word. I've had to break it down because like I said, y'all, it would probably be an hour, <clears throat> excuse me, if I did it the other way and I wanted to just be obedient and break it down into chunks. So for some of you, if you want to, uh, you know, go back, there's a playlist made, go back to the playlist and, um, you know, click it on and check it out if that's what you want to do. And, uh, you can get caught up on all the words They all run approximately 10, maybe 15 minutes, uh, for each one. And today for part three, we are going to focus on three different things. Okay. So if you recall, I was explaining to you guys in the last video that I was sent in the dream to my friend and I was like, yo, everything's under control. Everything's fine. And, you know, she was like, OK, I got it. So what I decided to do, this is a chunk of the dream that I think that I need to read specifically because I told y'all it was really long, but I'm going to read this and then I'm going to give you the breakdown. So there's a three part breakdown that God gave me and it is is really deep. OK, and I, I'm so excited because, again, I believe that some of the things that God has been mentioning to you, some key words like partnership, covenant, you know, some of these words are going to stick out to you because you know that you have been feeling God has been moving you in these areas. OK, so let me let me just read this excerpt for part three of the dream. OK, guys, so this is in my friend's voice. OK, so I'm just going to give you an excerpt. Now, if you remember from the last video, I explained to you guys that. I told her, I was like, listen, I'm going to help you. You go one way, I go another, and then we're just going to get it done. So this is the follow-up to that part, okay? So then she comes back and she says, um, you know, so after we split up, after I told us to split up, we ended up meeting back in the middle, right? She said she looked around and she was like, oh my God, how did this happen? And then I said to her, child, I told you, and we have a hundred more people who are not here that we have to feed. So then she asked, how would we know who they were if they weren't here? And I told her, we'll just know. And then I said to her, 50 for me and 50 for you. Some of y'all are coming into a season of partnership. You are coming into a season of covenant. Now, this person, this is like a sister to me. She's, you know, one of my closest friends, right? So we already have friendship and partnership. But what God was trying to show her in the dream was that, even though she did not know what was going on, y'all just got another chill, golly. Um, even though she did not know what was going on, God sent someone who did. And he sent someone who valued her and who honored her and did not belittle her. Listen, the way I was positioned in the dream, I could clearly see she was overwhelmed and didn't know what was going on. But I was so comfortable knowing the type of friend she was that even though she was a bit disheveled and she wasn't quite herself, because look, in real life, my friend confidence be on 10, you dig? Like she's, that's who she is. And it wasn't that she lacked confidence in that part of the dream, but she was just overwhelmed and she was trying to get her bearings. A lot of times in life, y'all, people assume you having to get your bearings and having to assess a situation for being weak for being uh, not ready, for lacking confidence. And sometimes God has to put people around you who will not accost you and attack you in those times because you just have to get your footing. So he put someone like me who was a trusted friend to her who would be patient with that. So even if other people came around and let's just say other people were frantic, like, what is she doing? She don't, she not on top of it. I was able to just diffuse it. And it didn't matter how many people said anything to her. Cause even, even there's, there's a part of the dream that I didn't read yet, but even then, you know, there were so many people and the people, you know, some of them had gotten concerned at some point, but because of the value of the partnership and friendship, the 50, 50 that's represented that you go this way, I go mine and we meet back up in the middle and boom, now we got everything we need. That was God saying, it doesn't matter what it looks like. This partner, 
This person is not going to let anyone else hurt you and they're going to make sure you get the job done. They're not going to let you leave with egg on your face. And that's something that we have to do with people, y'all. It's not always easy, but this dream was so significant in, in so many aspects, but namely in that one for the, for the idea of knowing that when God sends you someone and when he sends you help, he sends it well. He sends it well. And how we handle it though, that's what's going to determine what God looks at. He's going to look at how we handle that help. Because sometimes we want it. We know we need it. And other times, like she did, if you listen to the last dream, she pushed me away. I was the one that said, I, 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 I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. So that's that's something for someone else too, who's, who's uh, feeling like, eh, I don't know. No, you need to go and help if that's what God is sending you to do. Because guess what? Your stuff going to get out of order then. <laughs> okay. Your stuff will get out of order if you don't handle your business the way God is telling you to handle your business. So that's the first part, covenant. That's 50-50, split in half. God is sending you some of you covenant partnerships, covenant relationships, and 50-50 from the, from the sense of not so much. We know y'all like in real life, sometimes relationships are 70, 30, 80, 20, depending on the season. Sometimes, especially in a marriage, you know, <clears throat> excuse me. One person is up and one person is down. That's life. But this is merely representing 50-50 is just fairness. 50 plus 50 making 100 completeness and it being done and it, and it being, no, you know, nothing hanging off on the end. It's, it's 50 here and 50 there. It's a clean add-on. Everything is all in order. Ducks are in a row and the total is there. If the goal is 100, you get to the 100. One person bring their 50, the other person bring their 50. So this is representing partnership and fairness. This is also representing help. It is also saying, hey, listen, two heads better than one. We might bump heads, but we're not bumping heads today. Two heads better than one. Let's get it. Let's figure it out. Let's make it happen. So congratulations to those of you who have been praying about covenants, about partnerships. You've been hearing about it. This is just another confirmation to you to let you know <clears throat> excuse me, that all is well and that is coming to pass for you. Now, here is the next part. Okay. Now, once we got everything together, we came back together. She took the fit. She got 50 together. I got 50 together and we were able to take care of a hundred people, right? This is what happens next. She said, everyone, she said, we grabbed our blankets, we ate, and then we got back with our families and we were having a great time. Then this old black man walked up to me and said, it's a shame that it's going to rain on your picnic. My friend said, oh, no, sir. Look around. It's, be it's a beautiful day. And then look up at the sky. And then all of a sudden, it was dark and cloudy. She said she looked back at him and she shrugged. Then he said, but remember, not all storms are bad. Sometimes the blessing is in the storm, but we are so busy running away and looking for cover that we miss the beauty and the blessings in the storm. My God. Let me repeat what this man said again in the dream. And in my opinion, I believe that was God speaking. I believe that was God speaking in the dream. How kind of God to send a warning. But her first reaction was to fret like, oh, no, 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 no. It's going to be great. It's beautiful outside. No, 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 no. But God in his loving kindness, he was like, no, it's going to rain out here. And y'all notice how we panic. That's why the second word, the second C is crisis. Crisis. Because people, y'all, sometimes we worry about the rain. But that's the beauty. When God said it would rain or the representation of the man in the dream said it would rain, she rebuked him. Like, nah, like, it's still raining. But the man was like, yo, no, hear me out. Like, it's still, it's still raining blessings. Like, don't trip. Don't run from the rain because the rain might look away right now, but you don't know what's going to happen with that rain. Let the rain fall. Y'all, we getting to the good part. We getting to the good part. So <clears throat> crisis. Some of you are in what seems like a crisis. It looks like all hell is breaking loose. It looks like you are in the rain and it is a disaster. You have been planning for beautiful sunny days and it is now raining on your parade. It is raining on your business. It is raining on your money, your finances. It is raining on your relationship. It is raining on your health. It is raining on your mind. It is raining on you. And you are like, no, because five minutes ago, it was beautiful. Everything was great. Six months ago, I had seven figures. 
Six months ago, I had seven figures. Here we are today. I'm down to six because I've been losing money in investments. Yo, that's raining. That, that looks like rain, right? That looks like rain. So y'all in the crisis that what appears to be like a crisis for you right now. Ha, I just got this. In the midst of your crisis, know who Christ is. That's good. That was straight Holy Spirit. Oh, I like a play on words. If you know me, I am a wordsmith songwriter. I like when the words hit and slap. Listen, in the midst of your crisis, know who Christ is is okay all right take that that was that was good thank you holy spirit y'all ain't lying i'm a smart woman but i didn't come up with that (laughs) the lord gave me that one all right so once we've established that it's going to be some type of divine covenant partnership and then we realize that what appears to be a crisis is actually a time to rejoice it's actually a time to be blessed and and enjoy what's happening. Know that God is still in the midst. And I'm not sure if I said that I, I was going to read it again and I started talking. Y'all know I do a tangent. I'm a, <laughs> I go off on a tangent sometime, I meant. Let me just read it again just in case. Let's see. He said, but remember, not all storms are bad. Sometimes the blessing is in the storm, but we are so busy running away and looking for cover that we miss the beauty and blessings in the storm. So obviously, even then, God was trying to warn her to say, hey, listen, if some blessings coming in this storm, don't, don't get discouraged. If some blessings coming in this storm, right? Now, here's the last C for today. Character. Here's why. Here's the last part of this. This part of the dream, it says, and it started raining and most people got up and ran off. Okay, or put a blanket over their head and ran off. So imagine people running away, it's raining, and then they just disappear. But all the blankets that were closed, that were close to her, including me and my families, we kept on talking and laughing and eating in the rain and eventually singing and dancing in the rain. Ooh, that's big, y'all. Listen to me. This is why this part is called character. It's going to say a lot about your character. When you go through a crisis, you mistreat it, you mishandle, you're kicked out, you're thrown out, you you talk badly about, you lied on, you you know, your 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 personality is ravished, your character, your your just everything about you is just going through a bit of a cutting up phase where people are just cutting you up and tearing you up and you're just sitting there like, my God, like this is preposterous and you can't speak for yourself. Come on, y'all. Who who know what I'm talking about right here? How many of y'all have gone through those situations where you just didn't have a dog in the fight? It was nothing you can really say. It seemed like everything you said got misconstrued. Whenever, whenever you reacted a particular way, it was like, oh my God, like why is she saying this? Why is he doing that? And you just really don't have a chance. And, and you're really just like, God, please, like... I'm trying to go through this. I'm trying to handle this. But it didn't matter if you were sorry. It didn't matter if you were apologetic. It didn't matter if you were quiet. It didn't matter if you were you, you were pure. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. You were just cut up because you said, you know what? This crisis has become me. And now it's affecting my character negatively. So here's the thing about the, the this dream, this part. The people who exhibited well-developed character were the people that decided to continue to have a good time and dance in the rain. Are you running from the rain? Are you running from the rain? I want you to think about that because when you get, when you get to this, to part four, which is the most important part of this entire series, when you get to part four, you are going to understand why when you run from crises and you, excuse me, crisis, and you run from the rain, you will be missing the nourishment, the building, the wisdom, the understanding, the resilience, the heart, the clarity, and the drive that you get from sticking it out. There is an incredible miracle in crisis. There is an incredible 
lesson and character development right in that space. Now, just in case you are hearing me and you know you cut up and you acted bad when people treated you crazy, I'm not mad at you. And guess what? It's still all good because sometimes we the character development begins when we do take the blanket and run out the rain and we run from it. That's okay too. Don't beat yourself up. But for the person who's listening now, knowing that God is developing your character and this is just a confirmation, I want you to just understand something. When God says that he is going to bless you, when God says that he is the Christ in the crisis, then you have to hold on to that and you have to stand and you have to believe. Now, this is something I want y'all to catch about my friend. This is, this is going to someone else too. My friend, even when that man told her that it was going to rain. And even when she said, no, her eye is beautiful. And then he said, well, wait now, it's still going to be a good look. You know what she did? She's like, I bet (laughs) we ain't going nowhere. We're going to keep enjoying ourselves, keep enjoying our family. And she could have ran with the other people with the blankets, but she didn't. And she said, I didn't. And she said she didn't. So my family was straight and her family was straight. So this is something else I need y'all to catch. You need to be careful who you hanging with. Be careful who you hanging with. Because guess what? Good character begets good character. And sometimes when we are when we are in crisis, we will cut off a person with good character because you're not exhibiting it at the time. So they will become unattractive to you. Oh, Lord, come on now. Come on, Holy Spirit. I didn't even have that one in my notes. That's straight up Holy Spirit. Sometimes your character in a crisis, okay, will determine... Who is around you and why? And I'll tell you this too. She said, if you go back to the first dream, it was family, it was friends, it was loved ones. There's going to be some people that are family, friends, loved ones that have been around for a long time and they're going to have to exit. You know, sometimes we don't realize that even when we have certain people around us too close for an extended period of time, you do not allow God to put the people that do belong there. It's almost like you got to switch it up. Like you have to, you might as you talk to this person every day. You see this person every day, but you talk to this person every blue moon, right? But really the person that you talk to every blue moon should be the person you're talking to every day. And what has happened is when you rely so much on talking to the wrong people for so long, it, it almost becomes in some cases, they call it a trauma bond, Sometimes it's like a soul tie, okay? You know, y'all know I got a video on soul ties and if you search it, that there is a big difference. There is a big difference between understanding who that person is in your life now or who those people are in your life now versus the people who aren't there anymore and who have to go. Like it's, it's you know, like, it, it, hey, this is gonna have to be something personal that you seek God for for yourself. But It's about character. And I'm going to give y'all one more story about character in the rain. Because when I heard this dream, I thought about this story. So I have a friend who's a musician. And some years ago, he had to do like, I don't know if it was a fest or a fair or something. I don't know what it was, but it was like a big setup. I don't know if they had the wrong date. I don't know what happened, but nobody came to this thing. It It was odd. But it was like a big setup and nobody came. Y'all know he still performed. He did his whole set. Nobody was even out there. Y'all, that's character. That's character. It's the same thing as when the old man said, hey, listen, I know you want to run, but yo, don't trip. Blessings are still coming in the storm, in the rain. So that's just like saying, hey, I had a plan to do something, but it's getting a little weird, so I'm going to quit. Nah, like if you've already committed to it and you said you were going to do it, then you should see it through to completion. And I don't think every situation requires that, but that's where character development happens because, you know, you got to think about your mindset. So like from the posture of the dream, like I said, I didn't read every line in detail, but I could tell you just in general from the posture of the dream, our posture in the dream, it was more like, yo, we just appreciate and love having family so much. We haven't seen them in so long. We're not running away. We're not running from the rain. We're going to sit here and enjoy it. We're not leaving. We're going to enjoy it. Nah, so let it rain. We're going to dance in this mug. We're going to party. We're going to do whatever. And that's what we did. That's the same thing my friend did. My friend was like, listen, you know, if nothing else, I'm still perfecting my craft and I can add this to my resume. Nobody got to know who was in attendance. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just those small things that when that man who I believe in my heart represented God was just like, hey, listen, 
I, I, I love you so much. I'm telling you that something is brewing. I'm telling you that it's going to be a storm, but I'm also telling you that I'll be right here with you in it. So you don't have to run away from it. So y'all, that's our three words for the day. Covenant, crisis, and character. Remember, 50-50, God is giving some of you divine partnerships, covenant relationships. Remember crisis. Remember who Christ is in your crisis. And remember character. Don't run away from these opportunities when a crisis is popping. And sometimes you got to split things up and go 50-50. Y'all got to come back at one. You got to go all the way around and back to get back at one. Don't let that stop your character development. Those are the things that, that are going to make your character tight. So make sure tomorrow. So y'all stay tuned for the next video. I'm going to probably drop it today. Not long after this one drops. And I am going to finally break down. It's raining bread. So I'll talk to you guys soon on Why to Inspire. I hope you are too.